Hey, what's up guys? I have a, another story here today. And this story is when I made bad investments in, in the Bitcoin crypto sphere back in 2013, 2014. And the three companies I'm going to talk about are Butterfly Labs, uh, USI Tech, and this last company that I can't remember the name of because I totally forgot what the name of the company was. But that company was a cloud money company and I lost uh, some quite a bit of money there. So the first one is uh, uh, Butterfly Labs. I invested with Butterfly Labs by buying their jalapeno version of Giga Hash, uh, uh, ASIC miner. And they were supposed to a uh, deliver this uh, little black box, this little black box that basically would give you a return over three months. Unfortunately, the, the product actually came in so late that I lost, I lost about, I think about $150 on the product because uh, I only gained about two cents of Bitcoin from it. And Bitcoin wasn't lucrative back then. It was only worth like $1,200. Even then, $1,200 was worth a lot. But when Bitcoin dropped down back in mid-2014 mid to like, I think about $400 to $500, it became unprofitable. So then now my returns came out to be like over a course of six months. Also, with the company Butterfly Labs, people were getting a bunch of pre-orders on the products that they were supposed to get. They would uh, pre-order the product and then they would never receive the item whatsoever. And the, and then the company just couldn't deliver the actual product to the customers. Butterfly Labs was like the first company that I really got into a bad investment. Luckily, like I said, I got I did receive the Butterfly Labs jalapeno, that five little that little black box. And I was able to do mining with it and it, it just didn't turn out to be a very good investment at all. And I was just really, really upset with the overall product af after the end because I got it so late in the in the in the game and Bitcoin, Bitcoin's difficulty went up like crazy because everyone was starting to mine Bitcoin. And that like, like that was like one of the ways to actually get Bitcoin. I just was so focused on mining I was like, oh, I can make a return over over time and then I can get paid money over time over the long term it just didn't work out didn't learn my mistake on the second time because i went into cloud money and I, I do not remember the name of and this company uh basically i lost about about three thousand dollars i invested three uh, six thousand dollars into the company i was able never to get the money back i was never to get a refund back from this company and a lot of the customers as well as were able to get uh, refunds as well so I invested the 6000 generally thinking that I can get a return over six to three months, thinking the same thing with Butterfly Labs, getting a return on, on the product that you purchase on the cloud money. And I was like looking at the returns and I was like, oh, I can make $20,000 a year by just mining, uh, of doing this cloud mining. And I was telling my dad the good news about it. And next thing you know, Bitcoin started dropping. It started dropping down to 400 to $500 and the company started to panic. And so they started, they're like starting to shut down all the mining operations. So anyone that was mining Bitcoin whatsoever was not able to get any uh, terror hashes anymore. They weren't able to get any uh, in, uh, flow of income coming in because now they're not getting that Bitcoin that they were, they were mining because they shut down Bitcoin mining. And also there was another thing they added onto the Bitcoin, uh, onto the Bitcoin mining was contracts to get out, to weasel themselves out of this position of, oh, we owe money back to the people. Let's just put contracts on everyone. And that way they can't pay it. They, they, so when the contract end, uh, ends, you don't have to pay it back. You know, we don't have to pay it back. So we had a, before that, there was no contract whatsoever. We were able to mine the Bitcoin as much as we want because it was Bitcoin was becoming lucrative. It was twelve hundred dollars, and then next thing you know, it started, and then they went drop, and you got that drop. They they panicked, and then all the contracts expired. So now all the customers could not get their money back, could not get their refund back, and then I lost about three thousand dollars in total because I only got half of the Bitcoin back that I invested in, and I think it was about 0.45. Uh, Bitcoin um, yeah I got 0.45 of a Bitcoin back and then I and then I took out that that half of the Bitcoin out and if you think about think about half of a Bitcoin now that's worth about like twenty thousand twenty five thousand uh, dollars back then it was only worth like <laughs> like 250 bucks so it wasn't that much uh, in terms of like uh, how much the Bitcoin was but if I was thinking more of the long term then Bitcoin would have been uh, would have if I just held on to that Bitcoin a little bit longer, then I, it would have been worth about that much. 
The last company, the bad investment I, let, I made was a more of a Ponzi scheme and it was a high yield investment program. And the high yield investment program would give you these crazy returns and they would offer you like a 1% return a day. And that's how good it was. Like that was a good return on, on the, uh, from like too good to be true returns. Like you're thinking like a dividend income, like uh, maybe like uh, five, five to six percent a year getting your income back on investments. Now nah, this company was like, I give you one percent and you get one percent every day. And I was like, heck yeah, let's get that one percent. So I, I put like 0.11 bitcoins in thinking I was going to get 1% of Bitcoin every day. And I was like, man, I should put more into this, more Bitcoin, because I want to get that 1% every day. And my mind was like sucked into the uh, the idea of getting this 1% crazy uh, yield thinking straight, okay? I wasn't thinking like, oh, uh, questioning the company, how how they're going to get money back or how they how they make money, what, you know, what do they do exactly in terms of the company, and no, it was more of a Ponzi scheme where you invite someone to come on to the company and the more people you brought, you could add, they would add more money to your pool. They would give you money for that. And then they would just go back, like kind of like BitConnect, you know, the whole BitConnect scheme that happened and that basically their whole coin dropped and completely fell off the market and you never saw them again. I was a little skeptical. Luckily, I was a little skeptical. And point 11 is, you know, if you take like tenth of a Bitcoin, probably like 20 bucks, you know, back then. And I was like, well, I'm not have, I don't have that much to do. But the idea of like, of the idea of like Bitcoin of losing 0.10 wasn't that big. Nowadays, it's it's huge if you lost 0.10 because now you're thinking about how much money of what Bitcoin's worth because now Bitcoin's worth about five fifty, almost 50 grand now. It's almost going to hit that threshold. It's worth $48,000 now and as as I'm recording this. Yeah, that was the, the the last the last company I ever made like a bad investment in terms of what I did. There is one other scam that I fell into, and it was basically a scam that like, oh, if you gave money to it, you would get double back, and that and I lost twelve hundred dollars right away, and I was I was so pissed because I basically lost twelve hundred dollars, and me and my brother were like in it on it and we're like thinking about it going into it and he like told me this idea that the ceo was like giving out free coins and then he would give you double back no it's all a scam always do your research <laughs> the number one rule is always do your research make sure you, you look it up and make sure you don't uh, you look into these companies and making sure that you, you be skeptical all the time that's what i always say be skeptical it, it will save your 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 ass from falling into these bad investments or into these Ponzi schemes, these scams, or any of these things that are happening in the, in the companies that you're looking into. And and, and the investments uh, that I made, um, I've learned a lot and I've learned a lot of my the mistakes I have done. Very bad position, didn't have any m uh, money left from the, all those bad investments back then. And I just uh, took it like a bullet because I didn't borrow any cash. That's the good thing. I used everything with my own cash. I don't like borrowing any money from anyone earn the money that I get, reinvested it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys got a little kick and learned a little bit about um, not falling into these uh, Ponzi schemes or scams or any um, bad investments of, uh, you know, making sure you don't make any bad investments with companies and making sure you always do research. Research is number one. And that's the most important one you have to do is research on the company and be skeptical about it. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you. Peace.